Stars is Western Canadian Prairie Province Organization, uh, Critical Care Air Rescue. We're about 500 people, six bases, and 10 aircraft. We just went over 50,000 patients served uh, in our history. So we're flying on average between 3,500 and 4,000 people a year. We're the first North American aviation organization that's flying the D3s. This is the machine and it's been proven to be our machine and so far, so very good with the performance of this aircraft. We, we've had an amazing fleet of aircraft that served, our, served us well for many years and it was just time for us to, to upgrade and to move into something that we didn't have to find parts for and this was the perfect airframe and for us we needed something also that was going to give us the ICU equipment space that we require and this did that. So for us it, it means that we can continue on doing our missions, doing critical care anywhere. We have the speed to get there, we have the fuel to get there, the fuel capability and it allows us to serve our patients in the best way we can. Flying out here does present quite a few challenges in the Alberta area. You know, we have everything from the prairies to the mountains, so our area of operation is, is so vast. Uh, on any given day, we might be doing a mission up towards, you know, Jasper or all the way down to Lethbridge, and each can present uh, very different weather conditions, uh, which are quite challenging at times. Communication is key here, uh, and without the full circle, getting the um, you know, the feedback from the AMCs to the pilots um, and being part of that uh, crew, it helps, you know, the organization run smoothly and uh, helps the machine stay, stay serviceable. When I first uh, got to STARS, I started to fly the, the BK-117, a very proven helicopter that STARS had been operating for, you know, its entire existence. And with the fleet renewal going on and transitioning on to the Airbus H-145, it allowed us to really take advantage of the, the new technology aircraft had, uh, everything from the, the automation to the, the whole digital glass cockpit, uh, which really helps in terms of uh, being able to uh, fly these missions, I guess, more effectively. So a couple of the innovations that we brought into this, into this aircraft is ultrasound, blood on board, um, in-flight Wi-Fi, and we're using remote monitoring uh, kind of IoT medical devices to to use using that Wi-Fi so that our physicians who are remote sometimes from the aircraft can can come into the back of the aircraft virtually and support our air medical crews on difficult cases. So with a, a certain kind of diagnosis, it can make the absolute difference between life and death if we get them to the appropriate location for a specific kind of surgery, for example. So if we stay always focused on the advancing our thinking in, in critical care, we will always be differentiated from others.